Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.2 Beta 2 for the rest of the iPhones. The other day it came out for the iPhone 10 to allow people to upgrade from their beta versions of their backups on their previous devices to their new device where you couldn't do that initially. They released it late on the launch day, Friday, for the iPhone 10. Now the beta on this one and this one are very similar as far as the build number. There's a couple little changes, but first this came in at 132.7 megabytes on the eight plus. So pretty small update there. And let's take a look at the build number. As you can see, the build number is 15 C five zero nine seven D. And this particular build is the exact same build number on the iPhone 10. The only difference is with the iPhone 10, the live wallpapers here, we have three new ones. Uh, I went over these in the previous video. They're all live wallpapers. They don't carry on to any other device other than the iPhone 10. So they didn't carry those wallpapers over for some reason, and they're just not available here. Now in the particular notes for these, there were eight known issues and six resolved issues. One of the resolved issues was podcasts with chapter markers won't crash the podcast app. So if you're using the Apple podcast app, I'm not using it, but if you are using it, uh, it will no longer crash if you're using a podcast with chapter markers. Pretty simple bug, but that's fixed. Also, the notification bugs where people weren't getting notifications, that's fixed in this particular beta as well. So if you just weren't getting them, uh, they should be working now. So that'll be really nice. Now, the other thing they're also introducing with this particular one in the App Store for developers is the ability to offer discounted intro prices for auto renew subscriptions. So maybe you're subscribing to something here and you can get an introductory price and then the recurring prescription or subscriptions rather will go up in price. They can do that in this new update once it's available to everyone. Now also, we haven't confirmed this, but basically when you had the typing error, when it would autocorrect to I to A, for example, uh, that I to A autocorrect error is seemingly fixed in this beta. So hopefully that's completely fixed, no longer available on this. It seems to be fixed for most people, although it's not 100% confirmed. So there is not a whole lot of other things other than some aesthetic changes to a couple little icons doing to do with music, uh, some things with home and showing the home pod. And that's really it for this particular beta. There's no new wallpapers from the iPhone 10 on the previous devices, no peer to peer Apple pay, no iMessage in iCloud, and there's no 7.5 watt charging for wireless charging on these devices yet. That's coming in the future. That's not really fast charging compared to what Samsung and others do, but it should speed it up a little bit, at least in between basically what you get with your normal charger and an iPad charger when you're using that. I did a Geekbench on this device on the iPhone 8 Plus. I've got 10,264 for multi-core, 4,220 for single core score. Now the previous devices, this was on the iPhone 10. It's just a screenshot from it. It wasn't very good, uh, but this was the previous one, 10,267. And if we go back, so we're hanging around 10,200. And as long as we stay around there, everything seems to be smooth. Uh, most of the lag and everything around that, all of that's gone for these devices. And it seems pretty good. So hopefully this will be pushed out soon. And I haven't had any battery issues. I've uh, been going strong all day on my iPhone 10 with this and haven't had any battery issues whatsoever. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll leave a link to it in the descriptions below so you can check it out. And I'll leave a thank you to whoever sent this along. And if if you want to send one, I'll give you a shout out in the description as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.